Okay, taking question number 12, let P be a point in the first octant whose image Q in the plane x plus y equals to 3 lies on the z axis. So, image of a point is lying on the z axis. Let the distance of P from x axis be 5. If R is the image of P in x y plane, then the length of P R is. So, let us start this question. It is given there is a point P. Let us consider the point P alpha, beta and gamma. Its image with respect to plane x plus y equals to 3 is lying on the z axis. A point on the z axis can be taken as 0 comma 0 comma some term say z 1. Okay. So, first we try to find its image with respect to the given plane. So, image is given by x minus alpha upon 1 y minus beta upon 1 z minus gamma upon 0 is equal to minus twice of alpha plus beta minus 3 divided by 2. This is the image of the point P with respect to plane x plus y is equal to 3. Fine. This is giving me x equals 2 is cancelled out simply 3 minus beta. Since the point is lying on the z axis, so it will be 0 meaning beta is 3. Y is 3 minus alpha, it is also 0, so alpha is 3. Next, since denominator here is 0 meaning z is simply gamma. So, now we have point P as 3 comma 3 comma gamma and point Q as 0 comma 0 comma gamma. Correct. Next information given in the question is, let the distance of point P from x axis be 5. Now, if there is a point P alpha beta gamma, its distance from x axis, it is simply root beta square plus gamma square. So, here we have also root beta square plus gamma square is equal to 5. Now, beta is 3 meaning that mod gamma is 4 because it becomes 25 minus 9 that is 16 equals gamma square giving me modulus of gamma equals 4. Next information. R is the image of point P in x y plane. Let us consider a plane x y, here is a point, if you take its image it would be below it. Instead of finding image, let us first consider foot. So, if I consider instead of taking image as R, let us consider foot B M. Foot of P on x y plane, foot of P on x y plane, this would simply be 3 comma 3 comma 0, let us consider this point as m. Fine. The question is about find the distance P r, so it will simply be twice P m. So, m is 3 comma 3 comma 0. So, we have P r which is twice P m is equal to twice of mod gamma that is 8 units. So, the required result for this question comes out as 8. So, we find finally, the length P r for this question is 8. Moving to the next one that is question number 13. Now, moving to question number 13. Consider the cube in the first octant with sides O P, O Q and O R of length 1 unit each along the x axis, y axis and z axis respectively. Let S that is half, half, half be the center of the cube and T is the vertex of the cube opposite to the origin O such that S lies on the diagonal O T. So, this point is clear. 
p, q, r and t vectors are given and we have to find the value for mod p cross q cross r cross t. So, let us start by first considering a cube whose sides are along the coordinate axis right. It is given this is O, this is P, Q, R if we consider this one as x, y and z axis. Vertex opposite to O is given to us as T. If we join O T, let us do one thing join it with a dotted line so that we can consider this is the diagonal joining O and T correct. Now, this one midpoint of this is given as S. Now, moving to the question part it is given P is S P vector, S P vector. What are the coordinates for P? It is 1 0 0, 1 0 0. For Q it is 0 1 0 for r 0 0 1 for t 1 1 1 for s half half half. So, now we can find s p vector, s q vector, s r vector and s t vector respectively as required in this question. So, starting the question part s p vector which is given to us as p vector will be equal to coordinates for p minus coordinate of s with i j k. So, it gives us half i cap because 1 minus half then 0 minus half 0 minus half i cap minus j cap minus k cap correct. Next is s q which is given to us as q vector s q this will be half s q means position vector for q minus position vector for s. So, it is giving me minus i cap plus j cap minus k cap. Then next is r vector that is s r. So, s r here comes with coordinates for r minus coordinates for s. So, it is giving me half minus i cap minus j cap plus k cap and finally, t vector which is s t. s t comes as half i cap plus j cap plus k cap correct. Now, the question is about find p cross q cross r cross t and then take its modulus. So, first we find p cross q vector this is equal to determinant i j k then p vector that is half minus half minus half and q vector that is minus half half and minus half. On simplification it is giving me i cap multiplied with 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4. So, 1 by 2 i cap then minus j cap with minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 that is minus half it becomes plus half j cap and k cap multiplied with 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 that is 0. So, it is simply half i cap plus half j cap. So, this is equal to half taking common i cap plus j cap. Next we require r cross t that is i cap j cap k cap correct r vector is minus i cap minus j cap plus k cap divided by 2. So, we write here minus half minus half plus half 
and for t it is half 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 let us extend this determinants bar. So, this is r cross t simplifying we have i cap multiplied with minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 that is minus half meaning minus half i cap. Then minus j cap multiplied with minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 that is plus 1 by 2 j cap and the coefficient for k cap is again 0. So, this is r cross t minus half i cap minus j cap. Next, we are looking for p cross q cross r cross t. So, this is equal to determinant i j k p cross q that is half i plus half j. So, it is half half 0 other one is minus half half 0. So, simplifying we get the coefficients for i and j 0 and for k it is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 that is 1 by 2 k cap. This is the term for p cross q cross r cross t. We need its modulus. Therefore, modulus of p cross q cross r cross t is simply half or we can write 0 0.50. So, substituting it here we are getting the final value required one as 0 0.50 right moving to the next question now. 